All right, time to play some Ace 3 VR. Hopefully my voice is uh, pretty good today. It's been a week. Uh, but we got a new update. <clears throat> I think, uh, yeah, let's uh, get into this. I'll talk about my voice later. Whatever. whatever. Uh, all right, so we got a new update today. We got a new toy. We got several new things. Uh, a little spoiler for you. Oh, well, you've already seen the video. If you watch H3 VR devlogs, you already know what's in this update, but uh, let's get right down to it. All right, first up, we need to, uh, let's see, no, no tag mode because this is experimental, so classic mode. Um, I should have set this up. I don't know why I didn't, but uh, anti-material, right? Okay, cool. So... Uh, I know we're not at the um, <clears throat> indoor range or the uh, sniper range, but I'm going to spawn this anyways because, uh, well, you know, well, it'll take some time to get to those other places. But for now, we've got our first thing to talk about today, our new toy, which is the AR-50. Uh, let me grab this, stick this in there, grab the new muzzle brake, and go and grab ourselves a... Scope, I guess I'll put a scope, whatever. All right, so this is the AR-50. It's a single shot, bolt action, anti-material rifle. And uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So left on the uh, touchpad, whatever uh, controller you're using, uh, switches the uh, safety. So I think this is uh, ready to fire. Yep. Cool. And then, of course, I'm using the uh, slide bolting. But you can obviously grab the bolt if you want. Pow. Cool. Comes with a muzzle brake. Nice. We'll uh, take that off for a minute. And, of course, you got some rails at the top and on the grip there to put some bipods or whatever. Let me, uh, let me, let me grab something here. Uh, attachments, bipods. We'll grab ourselves a bipod. Again, kind of useless since we're not at a long range, but hey, you know what? Mm, let's stick that there. Okay, cool. Spawn our some, uh, ourselves some sosigs. Grab that. Ooh, nice behavior there. And let me just uh, turn down the uh, magnification here. Ah, nice. Stick another one in here. Oops, I didn't go all the way, I guess. Hold on. Either that, yep, there we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. I always keep uh, forgetting to do this, but uh, spectator panel, HD spectator, boom, 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 left. And I just want to make sure everything is set. Yes, good. Bam! Yeah, there you go. There's your uh, <clears throat> bolt action, single shot, anti material weapon. Pretty cool. Need to go into a sniper range and test this thing out. Oh, wait, hold on. There's the muzzle brake. Boom! <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Again, my voice, eh, not completely all the way back, but uh, yeah, so it sounds like this, you know. <laughs> so that's only if I do that uh, little vocal fry thing, but. Again? As long as I clear my throat, it should be okay. But uh, 
Let me just take out the rest of these sosigs. Bam! Another shot right there. I wonder, though, if this will penetrate two sosigs. Let's see if I can penetrate the wall here. Oh, probably not. Probably missed, though. I don't know. I need to turn on the bullet trails. Hold on just a second. Let's grab our guys here. Let's give ourselves a little bit of... All right. All you need to do is stand up. Actually, you know what? I should, I should move you closer. There we go. Get back up. There we go. All right. I need to get a little farther. Oops. What's wrong with my uh, arm swinger here? Okay. Actually, you need to move a little bit. There we go. Ooh, two and one. Yep, goes right through these uh, Sosigs. They don't stand a chance. But there is your AR-50. <clears throat> Pretty cool. I actually want to do one more thing before I uh, move on to the next grab ourselves a uh, suppressor let's uh let's see where is the largest suppressor that we get oh no no no! it was the um this one i think this is larger than the uh, uzi right i actually want to check hold on yeah it's a little longer but uh it'll work let's try to put this baby on <laughs> <laughs> Gigant gigantic chunky suppressor. All right. Cool. There you go. The AR fifty. Oh, so <laughs> it's so huge. Okay. Well, let's just uh, stick that baby on there. And let's move on to the other things. So, yes, you can see we've got targets. We've got new toys to play around with. Let's grab ourselves a uh, test gun. This Beretta. And, uh, now you know what? Let's grab some of these targets. Got ourselves small clays. That there, spawn lockable, large clays. Bots. Uh, we got pumpkins, which I don't know where I'm going to put this. Here, watermelons, and then an apple. All right, so we'll talk about those in a minute. For now, we'll talk about these. So we've got these targets, new little toys here. We got our clay targets. I think I should get a shotgun for this, but... Uh... Ooh, got it. After maybe, like, what, three shots? That's a small, that's a small clay right there. Mm. Got one of these big ones. Uh, managed to get it. Uh, let's see, pot. Let's try pot. Now that one's easy because that was large. And, uh, now apple. This one's going to be pretty hard. I'm going to have to aim. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Okay, yeah, these apples are a little too fragile. Although you can pistol whip them. I just need to not hit my controller. There we go. Because my controller is right there. All right, let me... Oh, got it. I got it. Ah, missed. That one I missed. Uh, I didn't get that one either. Uh, I am just be. I'm just uh, aiming terribly. All right, you know what? What else we got? We got watermelons. Yes. Oh, that pose is a little weird. Oh, because I grabbed it from there. Oh. Okay. All right, hold on. Let me let me uh, show you what I mean here. Let's uh, go to graphics and performance. No. Firearms and objects. No. So, as you can see, I grabbed it from there, but it is 
positional. So if I just grab it, yeah, see? So you can technically grab things in your palm, which is pretty cool. Oh, but that's a, that's a pretty cool feature. So, because I grabbed it like this, see? That's, but you can grab it anywhere, which is pretty cool. This one should be easy. Yep. That one is uh, pretty simple. A large target. I mean, what do you expect? It's a watermelon. Now, the larger target, the pumpkin, that should be pretty easy. Yeah. Apples, not so much. Let me see if I can get the apple. Oh, man. That is tough. Ah, uh, nope. Oh, I need to turn that off. Turn that off. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> oh, okay. No, oh, this is the pumpkin top. Oh, that one. There we go. There we go. All right, one more time with the apple. Let's see if I can get this. Ah, man, I managed to get that one first shot before, but you know, it was terrible. Anyways, uh, well, because it's it's a small target. It's not the target's fault. It's my fault. I'm pretty bad at shooting. <laughs> so don't blame the target. Blame yourself. Right. So those are your targets, which are all in the tools section right here. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Surge soda. Oh, well, I was trying to open it, but I guess I opened it too much to get a drink. But we got some other targets there. Uh, oh, this, oh, no. AK-50. It's so huge. Get rid of that for right now. All right, cool. So we got all our targets here, at least the ones that I've shown off so far, except for the peppermint. Let's spawn that one. There you go, gig your gigantic peppermint. There we go. I got it. It was at a weird angle. <laughs> I think I shot one of the metal targets over there. All right, so yeah, those are the uh, spawnable, spawn lockable targets. I'll just get rid of these, though. Oh, you know what? I should shoot them. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah. Mm. Yeah, that one's easy because it's large. That one's easy. This one's going to be tough. Oh, no, I got it. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> Watermelon. Got it. And then pumpkin. Oh, well. Oh. Made a fool of myself there. I missed the first shot, but whatever. All right, clear all empty mags. That's good. We'll just leave those there. Okay. All right, let me take a quick breather here because, again, <clears throat> all right, so those are the targets that you can spawn. Now, as you can see, we've got these other targets. So you've got uh, these guys, the standees, which, again, Anton showed off. You can pick up, you can float in midair, you can position them in all sorts of weird, crazy ways. Actually, I want to try something. <laughs> it's like a vampire. Ah, quick, it's a vampire. Shoot him. So, yeah, I mean, they're pretty cool. Pretty cool standout, uh, standee targets. You can stick them wherever you want. Hmm. I don't know what to... With this exactly. Yeah, he's going to be standing on the wall here. <laughs> I'm going to cough, so this is going to be pretty loud. <clears throat> oh, man. But, uh, yeah, so you got the standee targets there. Let me grab something uh, with a much higher fire rate. Um, let's grab ourselves a Mark 18. Spawn that. 
grab a magazine. Stick that in the thing. Oop, back button. Uh, yeah, fine. We'll, we'll get a foregrip. And we will grab ourselves a reflex sight. Oh, the YOLO graphic. No, let's not go for that one. All right, let's see. I'll we'll grab ourselves uh, one of these. Uh... There we go. Good stuff. That'll work. Oops, I need to extend the stock there. <clears throat> All right, so. What was I going to do? I was going to shoot this guy, right? Yep. Headshot. Shoot the body off. You know, keep the bun. You keep the bun, right? <laughs> no, you got to shoot the bun. Cool, cool. I'm loving these targets. I can't wait to, to uh, play around with them. Cool. And of course, you can spawn them. Let's go to tools and toys here. Oops, I'm leaving the center of my play space. Target. Here we go. We can spawn these guys. Anton said that they spawn in the middle here. Obviously, because they're such huge targets. <laughs> you can't throw it up there. It's floating. <laughs> it's the Sosa God. You have to shoot the... So sick, God. Leave the button. Leave the button. Yeah. I wonder what, uh, what melee weapons will do. Let me grab ourselves an axe here. Oh, nope. Oh, there we go. Oops. I accidentally let go. There we go. Yeah, well, melee weapons work. Oh, I need to clean this place up. There we go. Good enough. Cool. So those are your standee targets. We'll just leave that stuff there. Next thing, we've got our, uh, our regular targets over here, which are uh, conveniently set up in the scene. But, uh, of course... You can move them. Ooh, I like how that disappears. Oops. Uh-oh. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Oh, no, wait, no, that's, that's the wrong wrong spot right is it like this i think it's like this oops i am out so you got your um oh, what are these called i'm not too familiar with the targets the standing steel uh swinging targets you got the ipsic targets in the back there you got these uh plates Actually, want to try something? Pull out of this. <laughs> That's cool. Make a little smiley face. All right, cool. Then you've got the, um, what is this called? You've got the spinners, right? You got the Ipsic, the steel targets, spinners. You got some plates that you can spawn, which uh, right there, pretty cool. Let me just uh,
And you've got these walking targets, which uh, can be picked up wherever you need. And I think these uh, are for lower caliber weapons. Because with higher caliber stuff, they'll just fly off. Yeah. So I'm going to spawn myself a 22. Uh, automatic pistol. Let's grab ourselves the, um, instead of the, whatchamacallit. Let's see, hold on. I'm trying to look for it. Uh, where is it? Didn't I unlock it? I thought I unlocked it, right? <clears throat> there we go. Let's use the mass 22. On that. Oh, there it is. Ooh, fun, fun. Little walking targets for you there. Oh, I already have a, I have a pistol there. Let's stick that one right there. And uh, we got a little platform. Oops, standing too close to the edge there. A little platform so you can put stuff. So let's say I wanted to spawn some plates. Uh, spawn. Are these spawn lockable? I don't think so. Right? Oh, they are. Okay, cool. Oh, I have too much items in my quick belt. It's, whoa. That's a huge plate. I don't know where we're going to put this. Like this? Oh, it stands up. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, should I? It's probably spawn lockable. I think it's spawn lockable. I don't know. Oh, oh it is. It is spawn lockable. <laughs> okay, let's just not put that... Uh, we got some diamond, square, eh, you know, all sorts of sizes. A little coffin shape right there. And the plinth. I actually want to check this out. Oh, yeah, this, okay, this one just, like, locks in place. Or, I thought it did. Hmm, huh, that's, uh, I don't know how that works. That would just, like, float in place. But uh, I guess Anton will need to fix that. I don't know if that's actually supposed to be like that or what, but, uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Wait. Oh, huh. Seems to work. Oh, so you just have to, okay. Yeah, you just have to touch it to a solid object to freeze it in place. I see. I don't know what use this will be, but, uh, because, I mean, you're supposed to balance things on it, right? Well, maybe. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's a little... It's a little off. There we go. There we go. That'll work. Right? That'll work. Yeah. Well, you know, Anton said that he is working on a mechanic where you can lock these things uh, sort of like those uh, standee targets. So, you know, you can potentially, in the future, you know, have like a little command or a button to lock them in midair so they can be floating if you want them to. So hopefully they'll come in the future, but still, it's pretty, pretty cool. Ah, I see. Okay, that's how you do that. Spawn ourselves a cola. Yeah, this is going to be a little weird, because this might fall off. Oh, nope. It's fine. All right. <sighs> okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Same way, we don't have any two liters, but if I remember correctly, I think it's... Uh, uh, it's kind of hard to make them because of all the liquid sloshing effects. Uh, I don't know if Anton's going to add that in, but, uh, you know, it'd be cool one day to have the two liters, you know, sodas. But, uh, oh yeah, that's right. 
There we go. Completely forgot about that. So there are your targets, um, which will move into the next part of our uh, exploration of today's update. We've got the vault. The vault is here now. Let me uh, see if I can clear all this stuff here. Uh, that stuff is still there. I, I, I think Anton said he was going to fix that, but uh, let's move into the vault. So there's a big warning, especially for those who mod, which uh, I haven't done in a while because, again, I don't have that much space in my computer left, which I got to make sure that I'm not using with video because this thing is like five, six gigs of video. Uh, I try to cut down on the size, but whatever. So uh, this is just a warning. You know, it's it's not, uh, it, you know, for especially for modders. Uh, yeah, you need to read that if you want. Hopefully you can see it. I'm going to read it. Well, let me just read it quickly. Not available. Yep, that's so only uh, with this kind of uh, item spawner. And, of course, they're still working on it. So we'll click the button there. I understand. And we've got ourselves a new interface. You know what? I should. Let's uh, get rid of this. I don't want this. Get rid of this as well. Eh, you know what? I'm going to get rid of the uh, M9. I'll keep this. This would be a good opportunity for me to actually set my loadout. So let me just grab a Mark 23. Oh. Maybe I should get the USP. No, no, no. I'll just get the Mark 23. Where is the... Let's spawn this. Okay. And then let's grab ourselves a... Suppressor. Stick that there. These are some lights. Get ourselves a uh, 15, put it on top, Special Forces style. Cool. Back to category, suppressors. Get the True Fire, that tan one. Of course, you can make your, you know, your own crazy builds. I'm just going to stick with a basic one. This will be fine. You know what? I think I'll put a uh, flashlight on this thing to, as well. So let's grab ourselves a flashlight. Hmm. I like the flashlight. I like the big chunky, chunky lights. Put it on that side. There we go. Let's put it like that. There we go. Okay, cool. I think uh, that'll be a basic, basic, uh, basic, uh, Loadout frame. But first, let's uh, you know, let's uh, let's scan what's on the table here. So let's see. Scan mode on table. New scan. Uh. uh what is this? The uh, Mark 18. Oops. Mark 18. Cool. <laughs> it's not cool. Not cool. Yeah, there we go. Not cool. All right, there we go. And then we can spawn another one of these. Yeah, we can spawn multiple of them. Oh, my game's kind of chugging because there's so many weapons. Oh, wait, hold on. Ah, I think I messed up. Oh. Let's do, uh, there we go. And then let's turn this on. Laser. Right, I want to do this again. Uh, clear. Sorry, new scan. Uh, laser's on, right? I think it's on. Oh, goodness. Oh, controller's freaking out on me there. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, so this one's going to be the Mark 18. Sure. No, 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 no. Mark 18. Oh, I'm really bad at names. Whatever, just just Mark 18. I'm not going to make anything funny out of it. 
All right, so that should be good. The laser's off. Well, but we should have... Yes, a round in there. Yes. Okay, so it saves... It saves the... Uh, oh, it didn't save the position of the stock, which... Uh, but it did save uh, the position of the uh, selector switch, which was on full auto, and it did have a round in the chamber. All right. Oh, did it? I'll try this again. Make sure this time everything. Well, it didn't. It didn't leave the laser on, but that's okay. I'm gonna extend the stock. There's a full mag plus one in the chamber. New scan. Uh, let's put a name here. Mark 18. Sure, why not? Just Mark 18. Scan the item. Spawn it. Ah, yeah, so you have to re-pull the stock. But it should have a round in there. And it should be full auto. I did mess around with it, yep. Ah, okay, cool. Cool. All right. Finally, we'll just do this. New scan. Mark 18. Scan it. Done. Good. All right. Now we've got ourselves the, um, well, the pistol that I want to scan. Oh, did I? Yes, I did. Let me just uh, do a full magazine there. Uh, save the file. So we'll save that. It's on there. Don't worry about it. Clear. New scan. Mark 23. Scan the item. There we go. Oh, wait, does it say position? Oh, it does. So. <laughs> Double. Now we have four. All right, let's get rid of those. <laughs> so many guns. I need to clear these. Hold on. They're all guns and melee. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Let me just... Uh, it does say position. Okay, well, let's scan that one. And then we'll save the file. That should be good. Spawn objects. Yes, sirree. All right, I just want to make sure everything is loaded properly. All right, cool. All right, so that's on the table. You can scan guns and stuff. Um, I haven't tried melee weapons. I haven't tried anything else. I'll try that later, but right now let's just get through this. Now we can scan what's in our quick belt. So whatever we've got in our quick belt slot, we can scan it. So. New scan, scan loadout. Wait, what is this? What is this? Oh, this thing. Get out of there. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so you can scan a new loadout. I'll just call this... Uh, I'll, I'll keep it all caps. Default. Default. Uh, new scan. Oh, sorry. That was weird. Should have saved it. Uh, default. Save the file. There we go. So, uh, let's try this. Let me reload the scene here and let me see what we got here. Okay, cool. Yes, I understand. In quick belt, I have nothing in my quick belt. As you can see, there's nothing. Zero. Nada. No items. Oh, okay. Well, oh, did it not? Mm, it didn't save, uh, I guess, because I probably forgot to put this, uh, to sling this on me. So we're going to have to do it again. <laughs> scan, scan, scan. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Delete. Confirm. New scan. Scan loadout, please. Uh, default. Save the file. There we go. Let's try this again one more time. 
boom, 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 and it's all clear. Boom. Ah, I didn't save it. That's weird. That's a weird bug. It did save the, uh, it saved the configuration for my pistol, though, so it's slung there, but this one, it, it didn't quite save it. That's kind of weird, but, I don't know, bugs will be bugs. What, uh, what can you do? All right? That's why this is experimental. Things are not going to work as uh, they should. Uh, it's all right. We'll get them fixed. Or at least Anton will fix them. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> but that works. So, yeah. Whatever you can stick on your quick belt, you can save it. And, uh, yeah. So, last one is scene config. Now, I don't know about this, if this will work. But let's just save the default right now. Let's see. Okay, scan scene. All right, we got all this stuff here. Left gauge shell, locking targets. There's a baseball. Ooh. Break action shoddy. M9A3, yep. Scan the scene, save the file. Load scene config. Huh. So... Uh, clear everything. Let's just clear everything right now. Everything's gone. Right? Except for the key. The key's still there for some reason. Oh, hey. It's back. Nice. And then there's this button here called Set as Scene Default. So, you can... Well, I mean, it's going to take some time. I'm probably going to have to uh, do something else later on. But let's just say... Um, uh, let's see. Uh, what can I do? Um, do, 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 tools and toys, targets. I want to put standees up, but I wonder if this is like, uh, no, it's not spawn lockable. Yeah, this is, you know, we're just going to do a simple test. Don't worry about it. So let's just stick our uh, Uncle Sam Wiener hot dog sosig right here. Make sure he's standing straight. Stay right there. All right. Let's go save and load. Scan the scene. Okay. It should it should have uh, gotten this guy, right? So we're just going to do test. T-E-S-T. -E -T. Save the file. All right. We'll uh, clear all this stuff. Okay. Nothing here. Default test. We'll see what happens when I click this button. Oh, did I not click it? Okay. Hey, he's back. And then set that as scene default. So, basically, whenever you do the uh, reload scene, that guy should be there from now on. So, let's confirm. Oh, no. I guess that didn't work. Maybe uh, that's still... Uh, Still in development. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work. All right, so set as scene default. Let me try this one more time, see if this works. We'll reload the scene. No, okay, so that feature does not quite work yet, which is okay. Again, experimental. Not all this stuff is going to work, but, you know, at least this works. So now if I just uh, decide to, uh, let's say, let's move these, uh, let's move these guys over here. Ugh, it's so hard to carry these things. Okay, let's just, uh, let's have them peeking out from right there. Oh, that's a bad spot for them. There, here we go. These are the, let's just say that these are the, um, these Uncle Sam uh, Sosigs are hostages, right? And then we've got our soldier uh, Sosigs here. There we go. 
Cool, cool. <laughs> All right, this will work. This will work really well. All right, scan the scene. All right, that should be uh, overwrite. Confirm. Should be good. All right, I confirmed the overwrite. I just moved a couple of positions. Here we go. Let's clean up the uh, scene and we'll load it again. Ah, yes. Good stuff. All right, that works. And I need a, uh, I need a quick belt here. So let's uh, load this baby up. Ah, uh, yeah. Ready to go. We've got ourselves a round chambered. And we can... Well, let me just turn on the laser here. Here we go. Bam. And then, you know, like I said, that there's that one option where it's uh, set scene to default. This is where you would use the reload scene option, and it would reload those. But it, that seems to not work right now, so again, it's okay. That'll be fixed later on. We can just do that right here. Practice. Boom. Load that up again. Bam. Bam. Load that up again. Oh, this is great. I love it. I love it. This range saver stuff is really cool. Of course, you know, you can you can also uh, work out some other things too. I'll put that there. A couple of targets. Oh, I forgot. You could pick these up. I didn't show that off, did I? Pick that up. Oh, that's not centered. There we go. Uh, drop it like that. There we go. And, you know, you can move things around. Which, uh, again, would take some considerable amount of time. That's just one of the things you got to do. Ooh. I wish you could... You know what? That I think that's another thing that should be... Uh, yeah, well, I mean, like I said, Anton, he's working on a mechanic where you can lock things in place, right? But that would be cool. You can orient these wherever you want. So. Okay. Oh, too far. We'll just put one right here. Okay. All right, scene config, default test, let's overwrite. Confirm, make sure. Load scene config, oh no, I messed it up. I thought I said overwrite. Huh, that didn't work out uh, as well as I thought. Well, yeah, say, so, well, that's gonna take some time. So, probably, I maybe because those are, huh, I don't know. You, I'm, you're just gonna have to start over from scratch. But, uh, yeah, that's going to take some time. I don't really have that time. So, that's the vault. So, we've got scanning, you know, individual items, quick belts, and scenes. All cool stuff. Really cool. I can't wait to see this thing fleshed out. And uh, in a proper update... Oh, let me sit down for a bit. Man, my, uh, my legs are hurting. Oops. Oh, man, that, but that's cool, though, you know? You can finally save things. Oh, I, I just I just wish that the uh, the reload scene default thing w was working so I could just sit here and, like, you know, like keep reloading the scene to have those things. But as far as uh, what we got right now, is th that's this. Oh, don't have my quick belt. <laughs> That's uh, that's also one thing. Um, huh, yeah, that should be a thing, right? If you reload the scene, uh, things in your quick belt should stay. Maybe. I don't know if Anton can do that. But, uh, yeah, this, this, you know, this range saver stuff is pretty cool. Although, I think there was a mod that did this. But I, like I said, I haven't tried it yet because I just haven't had the time or the space in my hard drives. <laughs> that one little tiny... 
That's what I get for not shooting with two hands and just one handed. Oh man, but this is pretty cool. It's a uh, pretty cool so far. I'm sitting down here, just you know, just relaxing. Uh, you know, just taking some, uh, just doing some plinking. It's like. Oops, didn't quite go all the way back. The dueling tree. Come on, there we go. Oh, come on, man. That one last shot. <laughs> Whatever. That's fine. But yeah, man, this update. Oh, man, it's gonna, I'm going to have to take some time to um, set things up properly because... Yeah, this is going to take some time. At least setting up targets. Which, by the way, I think if... Uh, if I remember correctly, you can share the uh, vault files since they're the they're they're a lot more. I think. Well, I don't know what Anton has planned for like how to you know uh, how to find these because the original vault files were in the local low roaming whatever folder that not everybody could access, right? But uh, if I remember correctly, I think Anton said that he might put the uh, vault files in like the My Documents folder or something like that. So that they're more easily uh, able to be shared, which would be really cool. So if somebody has a good layout, say in the grill house of like Ipsic targets, and they want to share that with somebody, all you have to do is just grab the uh, the vault file from them and load it up. Uh, as long as they aren't using anything modded or anything like that, so that would be really cool. Somebody could uh, share their vault files. I don't know how this. I don't know if it's working right now, but uh, you know, in the future, that'd be really cool. Because you can have somebody else design the course for you. and Because <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you can have somebody like put the, put down the targets, right, in the, the grill house. And you can just load up that uh, vault file uh, of the um, scene. And then just run it. And that would be really cool. Or double tap. Bam, bam, bam. Work on your uh, Mozambique. Little, uh, uh, what's it, Tom Cruise and Collateral, right? <laughs> All right, let me stand up for this. Hold on. <laughs> Oops, I dropped my magazine. Well, so, right, uh, let me get rid of this. I'm a little taller than this target, though. Yeah, this is, I'm standing up straight. This target is about, like, what? His head is about chest height. I don't know if that's that's due to me being, like, six foot or something. I don't know. Man, I don't, I don't feel that that's, I don't feel that I'm that too tall, right? I should be about... Eh. Eh, whatever. Oh, I think I shot myself. I did. <laughs> uh, not a good idea to shoot steel targets that close. I think that's a bad idea, right? Although, I don't know how the... How did I shoot myself? I lost some health there. That was weird. But, you know, that's actually a good... That's actually a good uh, safety thing, right? 
you shouldn't shoot targets, uh, steel targets that close. I think I don't know. I've I haven't shot steel targets uh, ever in my whole entire life. I've only shot paper targets. So <laughs> so yeah, I need to I need to remedy that one day. Maybe if I go back to uh, living in Las Vegas, maybe I can go out there and shoot some steel. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of not in the country right now, so. Uh, you know, it sucks, but whatever. You make do, and that's why we have HDVR. Right? It's like... Well, you know, that that is uh, the newest update for H3VR. Pretty cool. Just need to work on uh, saving some uh, ranges here because that's going to be a lot of work. And, uh, well, I don't really have that time today, so that's about it for today. And I will see you guys next time.